This is Graham from .easy coming back to you with another video. We've been doing a lot of websites recently that have been using WordPress as a base to make them. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be showing specifically one plugin that can easily help you create and make your pages a little more orderly without any too many theatrics. Now the nice thing about this specific plugin is, is it goes ahead and allows you to move it and really create the page as you see it. So pretty much what you see is what you get which is really, really nice. For those of you coming from programs like Dreamweaver, it's gonna feel very, very familiar in nature. Now the actual plugin itself is called the Page Builder plugin. So the first thing we're gonna do within WordPress is we're gonna show you how to install it and then how to use it. So we are in our WordPress dashboard already. So you wanna make sure you're logged in so you can follow along with us. You wanna go over to the plugins and then we can go to add new. And then we're just gonna type in Page Builder And then as you can see here, first one the list, five stars, good rating. And then we want to click on where it says install now. Click OK. You can say it's installed for us. We want to click activate plugin to make sure it takes effect. And then there we go, it's activated. Now you're not going to see it show up on the left hand side because it's not actually a separate content at all. What it does is it goes and effect, takes effect on the pages. So we're going to go to pages now and we're going to go to where it says add new page. Now in here we can type in whatever page we want. We're gonna just gonna call it page one in this case. Now what you're gonna notice for those of you who are used to using WordPress is you'll see the visual and text you're normally used to, but here's where it actually gets added in. You wanna to go to where it says page builder on the side here. Now you're gonna see right now it's got this blue bar and really nothing to do with it. So the way this works is it's got two buttons. One is add widget and one is add row. Now, Page Builder uses widgets, which are different things like calendar, text, links, picture galleries, things like that. Little different programs that you can set up to make your page look a little better off for what it wants. Whereas the Add Row is adding additional rows down the page. So we're going to start off by we're going to be adding a row. We're going to do a two column one, and then we're going to add one that's three column, just so you can see what it is. So as you can see here, it very easily modifies them. Now you can go ahead and you can shrink them. So if you want to make a really large page, there's no point. You can see it actually removes it off. And we can go ahead and we can make any kind of a change. So you can actually drag and drop it around. It's very nice. So we can move it down below like that. You can even go ahead and you can modify these sides a bit. You can shrink them, put them across. So you can see it's very, very easy to modify the actual amounts, modify them around. And you can kind of set up the page exactly how you want. So the way you can add content in here, now that we kind of played around with the sizings a bit, is we're going to go to where it says Add Widget, and then we can select from a whole bunch here. So you can even install additional plugins from this point just to get more widgets, but this is the basic group you're looking at. So the first one we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and set up a calendar. So it's going to ask you for a title of the calendar. In this case, we're just going to call it Test 1, keep it very simple. And we're going to put it here. If we ever want to move it, we can say just drag and drop, and bang. It's over in this spot here. We can even put it here or even here. So you can move it freely amongst the entire thing. Very simple, very easy to do. Now, the way it controls where the widget goes is actually which one of these is highlighted. So which one is ever darker blue? So we're going to go ahead and click here. And then we're going to just click on text for this one. We're going to type in just heading. And this is a heading. And I'm going to click done. I'm going to go down to this. We're going to go to this one here, just go to add a search, and I'm just going to call it a search again. I'm going to go down to this one, and let's go ahead and let's add in recent posts. Uh, post section, you can modify how many posts you want, display the post date, we're going to click yes. And then for this last one here, let's go ahead archives, something simple. And then display the drop down, show post count, done. So as we can see here, we've set up a very basic page. Now within WordPress, it gives you the ability to preview it before you, of course, ever post something. So let's click on that now. Just go to preview. As you can see here, it's set up this page pretty much exactly like we were doing. Now you may need to work a little bit with the sizes depending on how your theme and everything else play in. But as you can see here, it's set up the basic three layers and the two layers we had over here. You can see it's got these set up. 
pretty much within the theme we've got. So it's scrunched them in a bit. If we got rid of this page, you'd see this middle part stretch out a bit. You see that the one on the left reflected, so it'd look a little closer to this. Because as you see, it does work within a percentage. So it does mean that within this basic page box, it's actually working within that percentage itself. So just keep that in mind when you are doing it. It's not using absolute positions or it's not using pixels. It's using actual percentages of the page. So we'll move and float around. But from this, you can see it does set it up so you can very easily create a page. It does work with most themes, so you will be able to find out that it will use the same layouts so of background, the layout, additional features you may get within it itself, so different widgets. And that can easily be used to set up a page for really any site you're using. So it is a very easy, simple way to set up pages a little more orderly without any real experience. You're just clicking, dropping, dragging, picking which one you want. Very easy, very much what you see is what you get. So this is another way you can easily set up a page. You can use it with any of the existing tutorials we've already done to help manage the page a little better. You can even use it on a site that you've already been managing for a while. For those of you just starting, it's a nice, easy way you can use to create pages for WordPress. And once you're a little familiar, you may go into the coding itself. But till then, this is definitely an easy way of doing it. If you have any questions or anything about this feature or any others you'd like to see, any plugins or anything like that, leave us notes in the comments. You can also follow us on Twitter. You can like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Thank you. Mm -hmm.